Hello all, welcome back to our channel. In this video, I am going to cover one of the major topics which is in Hyderabad real estate price trends in the past 5 years and what to expect in the next 5 years. Uh, so, so coming uh, into the video, uh, this is Hyderabad map and this is outer ring road. So if you see in the past 5 years, the main major developments have, have happened within the outer ring road. So if you see in, within outer ring road, uh, the price was just to 10 to 2, uh, 15,000 uh, 5 years back and now it has reached up to 25 to 30,000 within outer ring road. If you see any area, it is almost on an average, you can say it is 25,000 per square yard now. For example, if you take areas like uh, Yamnam, Pirit and Brampalli, in 2017 it was just 10,000 per square yard and, and now it has reached up to 40,000. And other areas, if you take like uh, the developments were mainly confined till Narapalli. In 2017, it was almost development was only till Narapalli and to, till Uppal. Now the, from Narapalli to Gatkesar, we, we have seen development and also Narapalli, it was around 5,000 per square yard. Now it has reached up to 30,000 to 35,000 per square yard. So we have almost seen five to uh, seven times of appreciation in Narapalli kind of areas and uh, in uh, and the development has reached up till Gatkesar and Kondapur now and in Kondapur and Gatkesar it is around 20 to 25,000 per square yard. So if you see in 2017 it was just five to 6,000 per square yard. So it has uh, seen almost four times of appreciation in past five years. And uh, the general uh, observation is uh, whoever has invested in 2017 has seen good returns in the real estate market and uh, it, uh, we, they have seen almost uh, twice the returns in just one to two years because the uh, real estate market was in good boom in 2017. So whoever has invested in 2017 and 2018 have seen good returns uh, in quick time. And if you uh, consider the price trends in the other part of the city like the northern part, in northern part also, if you see areas like Tumkunta and other areas nearby, uh, this Devar Yamjar and other areas, if it was just five to 10,000 per square yard uh, in 2017-2018 time and now it has reached up to 35,000 per square yard. So we have seen almost three times of appreciation in this area also and, and the development has not reached now Shamir Pet. In Shamir Pet it is around 25,000 per square yard. So all these developments have majorly happened because of the ORR connectivity. ORR connectivity has helped the people to uh, have good connectivity in, in any part of the city from one part of the city to the other part of the city now they can reach within one to one and a half hour. And one of the um, important observation in ORR is the uh, ORR has a growth corridor of one kilometers uh, outside and inside the uh, radius. So if you see the uh, because of the growth corridor, the expectation is in uh, next five years, we can see all villas and uh, high rise apartments getting constructed in surrounded by the ORR. So uh, that is because there is no restriction on uh, construction because of the multi-purpose zone. And so we can expect a good amount of high rise apartments and villas uh, uh, all around the ORR in next five years. So we can see good appreciation uh, closer to one kilometer to two kilometers uh, within ORR and outside ORR. And that is the reason if you see now the land uh, demand has increased and it is almost reached 25,000 per square yard in all the places uh, throughout the city which is uh, on in all the directions of the city Hyderabad south north east and uh, west so if you take the other areas like uh, Maitchal in Maitchal also the price was just around 15,000 and because of the good connectivity even though it is far away from outer ring road still it has developed and the price is now around 35,000 to 40,000 so we have seen almost three times appreciation in Maitchal also that is also due to the facilities improvement and also the connectivity to outer ring road and the highway and other areas also if you see like Gundla Pochampalli, Gandhima Isamma within ORR it was just 10 to 12,000 in 2017 and now it has reached up to 35 to 40,000 uh, so we have seen almost three times of appreciation that is also because of the connectivity whoever has whoever stays in Gandhima Isamma or Gundla Pochampalli they can go to the ORR and, and they are, they'll be able to connect to the other part of the city easily for example a person uh, studying uh, or uh, uh, working in Gachiboli or high-tech city can stay in Gandhi Maisama and reach uh, Gachiboli in one hour through ORR. Same is the case uh, with Bachipali and other areas. Bachipali also there, there is a considerable of improvement in the price in past uh, uh, five years. In Bachipali the price was around uh, 15 to 20,000 in uh, 2017 and now it has reached up to 50,000 uh, just because of the connectivity. And if you see the other areas uh, in the west side, in west side also we have seen uh, a lot of uh, growth in the golden triangle. Golden triangle has mainly 
seen good appreciation because of the prominent uh, builders coming up here and they have developed many projects even though the residential occupancy is less but due to buying and selling uh, uh, in, in more demand uh, because of the demand it has increased a lot and the price uh, initially it was in 2017 it was around 10 to 12,000 and now it has reached up to 40,000 so we have seen almost four times of appreciation that is purely because of the connectivity and the proximity to high tech city and gachiboli and the demand has increased further because of the IT employees uh, are preferring towards the west side because of the connectivity to high tech city and they can travel to high tech city from this area within uh, 30 minutes to one hour and if you see in other areas from far away from outer ring road if you see the growth has gone far away in the west side it has reached up till Sadashiv Pet now because of the connectivity and the uh, facilities so basically now if you see in Ruddaram or Isnapur the price has reached up to 30,000 initially in 2017 it was around 10 to 10,000 only because of the connectivity and the demand uh, it has reached up to 30,000 so almost we have seen three times of appreciation so there is a good amount of appreciation in the west side as well and in the if you see the south side also if you see south side also it has increased a lot because of uh, Adi Patla and Tukukoda have increased because of the TCS uh, uh, employment uh, growth and other uh, other uh, factors uh, like Pharma City, Amazon Data Center so this kind of uh, facilities and uh, statue of equality so Bangalore Highway also has increased because of this there is a slight disconnectivity uh, because of the triple one geo impact but now triple one geo also is removed so triple uh, one geo is replaced with uh, geo 69 because of geo 69 some of the zones would become residential zones uh, uh, going forward so we could expect a good amount of appreciation in these areas also so based on the latest uh, trends if you see from past five years it has uh, minimum uh, in any areas of hyderabad it has reached up to three to five times so we can expect the same in the next five years in all the sites of Hyderabad just because of the connectivity and other factors and one of the other areas in the Varangal highway is the Yadigiri Gutta. Yadigiri Gutta has also grown a lot because of the developments done by KCR so if you see the price was around five to ten thousand in 2017 in uh, in near highway and now it has reached up to 25 to 30 thousand so almost three times of appreciation we have seen in Varangal highway also so if you see in in all direction of the Hyderabad we have seen almost three to five times of appreciation and the same can be expected in near future that is because of the overall development so as mentioned earlier due to multi-purpose zone we can expect the overall to become a uh, big factor of development going forward uh, like uh, within one kilometer and uh, outside and inside of or our multi-purpose zone would be there so we can expect a very good uh, development across uh, this ORR and also because of regional ring road uh, uh, the connectivity will be improved further like we regional ring road is going to come from Gachiboli, Narsapur and uh, Sangareddy also Shahabad, Shadnagar, Kartal Yacharam, Chautupal. So all this uh, through these areas regional ring road is going to be laid. So once regional ring road comes up, uh, we can see good amount of appreciation in, in uh, from regional ring road to the ORR. So uh, based on all these factors and also uh, like factors like IT park in the north side and also the pharma city in the south side and in the west side uh, we have in Zahirabad uh, names has been uh, announced already and uh, uh, already the work has been started and uh, many com companies have started expansion in the uh, west side like the MRF or uh, ODF uh, factory and other uh, things uh, so because of that they, we could see good amount of appreciation and in the other parts of the city like uh, Chirial or Kisaragutta also has developed uh, because of the Kisaragutta and the connectivity to uh, regional uh, uh, connectivity to ORR so we can expect a good amount of appreciation in the next three to five years because of the connectivity improvements done by government of Telangana and also many uh, growth uh, external factors like the IT park or the pharma city or the data center or other external factors. So thank you for watching our video.